birthday hawa birthday wa shai birthday hawa birthday wa shai call hello you walk a while hey now you hawa ma shem yaw shai ba shem kha kadash you double lines to our apostles and others a great millstone of course the elder bishops a great millstone as well your peace and salutation to the elect shem yaw mafa this is mafa from the great millstone please keep tables can't look at it here in the city of philadelphia bawa a a ma ni ma ait uh, just coming with a quick little lesson to some uh, spiritual meditations that it be. Um, <clears throat> I was at the Shaddai and I was working. And um, you know how we are usually at the Shaddai and most of uh, our fellow co-workers, they don't match <clears throat> um, most of our work ethic and such. And you know, a lot of times they don't even give an effort and such. And... Um, like at times it's, it's real troubling, <clears throat> you know, to your spirit and stuff. It's very vexing, um, and then especially you knowing too that um, <clears throat> you know a lot of uh, even these other workers and um, you know they'll be be giving blessings, <clears throat> um, you know, from E E, you know, and you know the different jobs and stuff. But you know, for us. You know, we got to just continue to stay on the course. And, um, you know, there's a, a particular precept that had came to mind when I had, uh, you know, uh, pretty much looked in the scriptures. Um, but uh, let me see. I'm going to get one scripture real quick. Like I said, just making this a very, very, very uh, brief uh, lesson. All right. Um, it says here. In the book of Proverbs, um, 23 and verse 17, it says, Let not thine heart envy sinners. You know, the wicked, you know, the wicked of our people, okay? And, you know, those that, of course, have committed sin. Even Esau, Edom, he committed sin because <clears throat> he put, obviously, the book to itself. And so you can attribute that to him, too. You know, but, uh. It says, let our mind not be basically jealous over sinners, all right? You know, so I shouldn't want to be in the same state as him. You know, the Lord actually bless us um, with his truth, all right? So we actually have the, the the depths of riches, you know, the true riches, you know. It's more beyond um, anything um, like gold and silver, et cetera, you know, uh, rubies, et cetera. <clears throat> it says, but be thou in the fear of Yahweh all the day long. So most important thing is to be in the fear of the Most High, all right, which is uh, <clears throat> most important for us to be within that spirit, you know, because that spirit keeps us in a, um, you know, very, very low position, you know, not to be uh, proud and such. Because um, it says, uh, for surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. So, yeah, understanding that there's an end, all right? There's a completion, you know, to, uh, you know, the, the things in which uh, are being done, the vexation that's being done to us. But the Lord got an end, all right, that's uh, coming. An after part, all right, a last bit from uh, a chariot, all right, in the Hebrew, okay, which is just meaning an uh, <clears throat> end issue. And also an event, you know, and the Lord actually going to bring forth the day of uh, judgment, you know, the day of the Lord to bring forth the recompense of all the vexation they bring onto us. All right. Um, <clears throat> next scripture, which I got is, um, I think Micah, I'll bring out Micah. Another scripture that came to my mind, but like I said, I got to keep this very quick and to the point. Uh, Micah 2. And verse uh, 10, it says, Rise, ye depart, for this is not your rest, for it is polluted. It will destroy you even with a uh, short destruction. So the most important thing is uh, for us uh, to come, to rise, obviously, to this light, to this truth. Okay? You know, and uh, depart, which go to Yilak, which goes into um, to move away or go away, you know, and figuratively in your manner of life. Our matter of life shouldn't be mirroring um, the image of this world, all right, and the people that's within it. Because even even when I try, say for example, you might try to to dial back or something, 
hey, you know, there's no way I can be like these people. You know what I mean? You know, I just suck it up and keep it moving, you know, and, and, and understand that your Haba Shem is going to bring forth um, a recompense. All right. Um, but this is not our rest. And understand that this ain't our rest. You know, this isn't our kingdom. You know, this isn't our time uh, to be uh, in actual um, position of, uh, of, 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 of rest being... Like, this ain't our heaven. You know, this ain't our time to have the milk and the honey right now. Okay, we're actually in a time of oppression. And um, we're still in slavery, you know. And, you know, and it, every day reminds you of that. You have to go to that job. You have to listen to these different orders from people that are, uh, like I said, not even on a level. All right. <laughs> um, but, yeah, this place will destroy you even with a, uh, a sword destruction. All right. Um, next scripture. I wanted to get uh, let me see I gotta be quick with this <laughs> it's in Hebrews I believe it is Hebrews chapter uh, 13 and 14 it says for here have we no continuing city but we seek one to come All right you know, we have no continuing city okay and which continuing going back to uh, Mino, which means um, basically a state of condition, you know, uh, and such, like to be held continually. You know, um, we're actually moving towards our glory, which is the kingdom of heaven, being rulers, okay? Um, not to be in the subservient uh, position which we're in, okay? So, it's not the time to be, of course, at all complacent, okay, especially with uh, rulership, dominion, okay, uh, multiple women, and, of course, uh, all of our heart's desires and righteousness. These things are what's on the way, and this is what's keep our uh, heads up and our heads up and uh, hope, okay, because we see one to come. We, we, yeah, that where we're going to have that um, rest and that remainder, okay. Um, you know, are that remaining place, okay? You know, that's going to go go on for on and on and on. I will lie, well, I, you know, forever till forever, ever, you know? And, yeah, forever, okay? Well, yeah, I is going into, uh, till, and, uh, well, I will lie, I think that's in going to ever I will on forever all right well, I but yeah um so uh I think I also had this this is the precept which I opened up to uh when I was uh you know pretty much vexed in the spirit at the job Psalms 55 and it was um Verse. Hmm. So I can make. I gotta find it. Yeah. Uh, verse six. And uh, uh, the uh, Benjamite that I work with, he actually told me that Bob Marley, I think in the Whalers or something back in the '60s, had made a song with this particular lyric, which we know they Benjamin is a Raven, Ra Raven Wolf. You know, utterances and such. You know. So, um. So, Psalms 55 and 6, it says, And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Yeah, you know, away from this place. You know, because, um, you know, of course, if <laughs> a, a, a bird is in, uh, you know, ties around in distress or something, you know, hey, they could just do, go fly off, you know, to another place, you know. But we're not in that position. You know, right now we have to wait actually for Yahweh Shemel Shai to deliver us from this place. You know, which as doves flying, you know, as uh, birds flying, the Lord is going to deliver, you know, as he let, you know, defend Jerusalem. But that's just uh, something to do the Spirit, you know. And I said, oh, and I had wings like a dove, for then I would fly away and be at rest. You know, we'd be well. So, shalom to the elect. See you in the next lesson. Shalom.